Hey guys! What is up and welcome to the first episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I'm super, super excited because this is my favorite game in the franchise. I know it's kind of a popular one, but it's for a good reason. Every single case is so, so interesting. Maybe except for the third one. I don't like the third one very much. But, um, I really, really love this game. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into it with this first case right here. Turn about memories. Let's go. <sighs> ah, how did I get into this mess? Why? Why did I do that? Uh. That girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business! I'm telling you for your sake, if you continue to see her, it's gonna be bad news. Y you're lying! Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that! Ooh. Phoenix? It wasn't me! I, I didn't... I didn't do it! No, Phoenix! What have you gotten yourself into? Bro! Okay, five years earlier. Mia Faye, second trial. Second trial? Okay. What happened to the first? April 11th, 9.40 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Yeah, it's finally time. I'm kind of nervous. Ahem. And it's Grossberg. Oh, Mr. Grossberg. Good morning. Ah, uh, Mia. Please calm yourself down. You're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know. What are you talking about? I am relaxed, Mr. Grossberg. Look at me. I'm relaxed. Go of my labels. You obviously haven't gotten the temperament to be a lawyer. I, uh, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so nervous today. Oh, that's right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. What, with your earnest request last night? Let me handle this case, you suddenly said, and quite forcefully, too. I just found out yesterday, about the case, I mean. What? And you've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that, you see, I mean, of course I have, I think. Oh, dear. In any case, don't let our client see you're so nervous. You see the poor young man in the pink sweater over there? That's our client. Oh! <laughs> Good morning there, everybody. Good morning. Try to keep smiling, Mia. I uh, just want to say, I'll give it all I've got. Yep, it'll be fine. No prob. <coughs> Oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something, Mr. Rye? Actually, it's right. Like the Flying Brothers. People screw it up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's what this mask is for. It's not like I have COVID or anything. My doc says that this way I won't be able to give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Right, Mr. Wright, you have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. Please let go of my shirt. <coughs> That's right. He's the one on trial, not you. He sh he's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. My name is Mia Fay. I'm still pretty new with this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. But that trial traumatized me so badly, I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. It's been one year since then, and well, here I am again. But this time, this time I'll win. For my client, and for myself. April 11th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. The defense is ready, Your Honor. 
The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense today is Miss... Miss Mia Fey, was it? Y yes Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see, Mr. Grossberg had a bit of an emergency. Emergency? But isn't that him standing right there next to you? Yes, well... You... you're just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your toughest look. Of course, Your Honor. I think. Hmm. <laughs> well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Well, well, well. I can't believe a veteran like my like me has to spend. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna finish your sentence. Don't worry, little girl. It will all be over soon. What was that all about? Is he trying to trash talk me? Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of events on the day in question. The incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. The murder victim was a student named du Doug, Doug, Doug Swallow, I'm sorry. He was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Hmm, it sounds like he was a very bright young man. Yes, well, next we have a photo taken at the scene of the crime. Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder. They found the victim's body, and the defendant who had obviously bungled his getaway. They then called the police. Hmm, that certainly makes the defendant look, look very suspicious indeed. Very well. The court accepts this photo into the record as evidence. By the way, I can't quite tell what the cause of death from this photo. <laughs> Your reputation for sagacity is well earned, Your Honor. Sagacity? I don't know how to pronounce that. The truth is that this victim died at a rather unusual death. An unusual death? What do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. I am a genteel man, if you will. Um, a what? Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. A uh, perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause. Go on. Please say you know at least this much. I'm so sorry. I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Oh, my hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Now, see here. The details of the case are filed under the court record. Thank you. But you knew that already, didn't you? I did. I played the first two games. Uh, the court record. I think I can see that by touching the court record button. All of the weapons we need can be found in the court record. Take a good, hard look at the data there and think carefully before you answer, my dear. Yes, I will do that. Fatal electric shock. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let the prosecutor get the better of me. The court record. Okay, let's take a look. I just touched the court record button here. I've already done that. Now then, would the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution? Hmm, but how could such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some type of new, super powerful stun gun, perhaps? The answer to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. But before that, there is one more vital issue. W what's that? Why, motive, of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood? W what do you mean? Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's Winston Payne for you. He is one smooth operator, if you catch my drift. They don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know. Now then, let's hear from the defense. Oops. Um, what? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to... Okay, maybe it's this girl. Okay. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? And this time I would like to see some supporting evidence. E evidence Ah, no need to get all worked up over this. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. Find the evidence you need and then shove it into old Greybeard's face. Y yes sir, into old Greybeard's face. Greybeard, sorry. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, try to set a better example for the young lady. Mia, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. 
You can toggle between profiles and evidence, so be sure to go over it all. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of the bad blood between Phoenix and the victim? The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. Dolly or Hawthorne, is it? Very good, Miss Faye. You seem to have picked up at least this much. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she has some part to play in this story. Hmm. Ah, uh, he's done it again. Before the cross-examination starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? The defendant himself? Well, Miss Faye? It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? The defense has no objection. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. <laughs> witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yes, my name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, um, well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. No, no, he means what did you do before you were arrested? Oh, I was a university student. Mr. Wright, you understand that you are suspected in the death of your fellow student, Duke Swallow. But, but, but I didn't do it. I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm telling you I was... <coughs> What the defendant? Please refrain from passing on his coat to the rest of us. It seems the witness has something he wants to say. Hmm. Well then, Mr. Wright, please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. Was this in 2019? Because I have a headcanon that he has COVID or something. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? It doesn't say the year. God dang it. Uh, um, I, I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British- Come on. Dude, you can at least try to be, like, okay. Right, like I said, I'm not a killer. Yeah, it looks like the judge understands. Mm, you're being naive, you know. Too naive. Huh? Hehehehe. <laughs> It seems that you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be? This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? He's right, and it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if a witness's testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, their statements will conflict with the court record. But, but Mr. Wright is my client! Even if he is your client, in court all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying that testimony just now... That there is a lie? A contradiction? Now then, your cross-examination, if you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright, tell me you haven't been lying. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Would you, Mr. Wright? Okay, give me a minute. Um, I get the feeling there's something. Do we not? Okay, do I have to press that statement then? Okay, I get it. How did you know? <laughs> Mr. Wright, you stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Th that's right! I mean, why would I even- but that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Achoo! Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, no, it wasn't me. I'm not a killer, I swear! Oh my god. Mr. Wright, I will give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Yes, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this the contradiction? Is this- is there a contradiction here? He was wearing a jacket. It <laughs> I'm confused.
confused. Um, okay. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Y yeah, I'm sure. It was right there on his back. Ms. Faye, is there some point to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing written on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute, he's wearing a leather jacket! The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. But if that was really the case, then you wouldn't have known that, would you? You'd have no idea what he was wearing underneath that jacket! Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me! Please forgive me! Oh, <laughs> Mia, you've made our client cry. Let him! That pee on his chest doesn't stand for Phoenix anyway. I can't believe I trusted him. Mr. Wright was all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was an impressive bit of cross-examination. Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh-oh, did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? I, uh, um, yeah, I took some, but... Was the medicine that you took an over-the-counter brand called Cold Killer X? Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. Hey, wait a second. How did you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. He lost it? Does this even have anything to do with the case? Your Honor? <laughs> Mr. Wright, shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? Your Honor, I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. Yeah, shit. <laughs> What's this? In the victim's hand, it's... It's Cold Killer X! Objection! Yes, but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment! Or do I? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belonged to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints were all over it. W what? <sighs> Sensing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine, dropped by Mr. Wright, and hid it in his hand. His purpose in doing so can only have been to identify his killer as Phoenix Wright. Order, order in the court. Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into the record. Oh, God. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all this? Uh... This is really bad. Oh, my... D dude! <laughs> the truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department, so we, meet, so we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then at around 3 o'clock we split up. Then later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I had been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days, but I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Wright, that's completely different than the testimony you gave previously. The two, the two, the two! I'm sorry, Your Honor, I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You'll forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. Hmm, Miss Faye, please begin your cross-examination. Oh, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. Well, I don't see any more contradictions, so I'd hope that this is just a pressing testimony. Okay. Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you should meet at 245? Yeah, and we were both there right on time. Hmm, you said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve ph pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the alchemist of IVU. An alchemist? I see. This age old transmutation circles. 
I gotta admit, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Oh, oh, how fascinating. He sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for more details? I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run on high-voltage electricity. That's right, and they sure look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages, so there are high-voltage cables everywhere. High-voltage cables. Yeah, there were, electric there were electrical poles set up all around the building. The high-voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. So what was it you were talking about? You know... <coughs> that maybe we should hang out again sometime. Hang out again sometime? I wish that were true. So you say you went back. Um, yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Well, that's right, I was. Then why, Mr. Wright? Why did you go back there? Um, I thought maybe we could make up. <laughs> Come on, guys. Judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one's buying this. It's rather unusual to catch a cold this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, I always get a little careless when the weather starts to warm up. I guess I shouldn't sleep with the window open this early in the spring, huh? I suppose common sense is not always common. So, did anyone else know that you were taking cold medicine? Well, I always took one after meals, so I'm pretty sure all my friends knew about it. On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Huh? What does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. I always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest. Mmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> Youch! But why did you punch me in the jaw? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. Dang, okay, Mia. I think that's enough for now. So the defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. Let me be frank here, Mr. Wright. Your testimony cannot be trusted. What do you mean? <laughs> I knew it was too much work for a little girl. <laughs> However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor. How the murder was carried out, of course. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet, correct? Well, that is, I... you are correct, Your Honor. So how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? If I could somehow establish how it was done, maybe I could still come out of this mess smelling like a rose. <laughs> establish murder weapon. Your Honor? Yes, Miss Wei. I believe that if we were to piece everything together we've heard up until now, we should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. Th that would be most impressive. <laughs> Quite the brash statement coming from a rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the court, yes? An attorney must be able to substantiate their arguments with evidence. Hm. Of course I know that. Actually, I had totally forgotten about that. Now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you've got. Show me how you believe the victim was electrocuted. Wait, hold on, that's not it. I'm sorry, my brain is just on weird... that. I believe that's it. As for the cause of death, I'd say this picture captures it quite well. W what? But there's nothing that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. 
Hmm, I'm afraid the defense is going to have to explain this in a bit more detail. Ms. Faye, where exactly in this photo is the murder weapon? Oh my god, I was about to... It is right here. Well, naturally, it's right here. That's... that's... what is that? A severed electric cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony we've heard. The machines the pharmacology students use in their experiments require high voltage. And because of that, there are special high voltage cables strung up everywhere. So then the high voltage cable! Yes, the high voltage cable is the cause of death. That is most likely explanation. Hmm, that certainly sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may have indeed been a high-voltage cable. However, I want you to think about what it really implies. The only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was... The defendant. Machoo! Hmm, that much is certainly true. Yes, and that's not all. We have proof. Irrefutable proof that will establish that Mr. Wright was the murderer. You do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints. F fingerprints You mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. And as you may know, leather holds fingerprints quite well. Uh, you mean... Yes, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. The palm print of the defendant's very own hand. What? I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. Intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim towards the severed electrical cable. Oh, 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 that's enough. I think we can conclude that there is no reason to continue with this cross-examination. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Mr. Grossberg! My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mia. I knew that boy was guilty the first time I saw him. N no you're wrong! Mr. Wright is innocent. No further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Your Honor! At this time, I am prepared to render a verdict in this case. Hold it. There we go. Do you have something further to add, Miss Faye? Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? You still haven't told us the truth. The whole truth. If you don't say something now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. But, but I... I can't. I just can't say it. If I told you what really happened, then I'd be... be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. Miss Faye. No matter what it is you have to say, I believe in you and I'll represent you to the very end. We've already established the defendant's guilt. There's no further need for him to say anything. <coughs> Wait a minute. Mr. Wright. Uh, I'll tell you what really happened. But I've already told you, Mr. Wright. There's no need for further... <coughs> I... I did it. I admit it! I pushed him! It's my fault. My fault that Doug Swallow was dead! Really? <laughs> that girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business! I'm telling you for your own sake, if you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying! Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Stop it! D don't talk about her like that! Bruh. Oh! So it was unintentional. Completely unintentional. What you just said... Was that the truth? Y yes, I, I was afraid. Afraid that if I told the truth... Everyone would think I was the murderer for sure. Well, as things currently stand, we're all absolutely convinced you are. Please, please give me one more chance to explain. This time I swear, I swear I'll tell the whole truth. 
It'll be okay, won't it, Miss Faye? I... I believe in you. Oh, um, thank you. I still can't believe it. He really did push the victim. Uh, it feels like my hemorrhoids are doing the Harlem Shake. Will you stop talking about your hemorrhoids? Jeez. That guy, he was talking bad about Dolly. So I had to and murder him. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back, but he was just laying there, dead. Well, the explanation is really quite simple. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallow flew back and touched the electrical cable. He died from the shock, and that, as they say, is that. Hmm, a simple explanation indeed. At the time of the incident, a light rain had been falling. Wet from the rain, the victim was more easily electrocuted. But when I pushed him, there weren't any electrical cables nearby. If there had been something like that, even I would have noticed it. That's true. Even a doofus like him couldn't miss that. Hmm, Miss Faye... Let me warn you right now that if your cross-examination doesn't yield any new facts, I intend to deliver my verdict without further delay. Are we clear on that? Y yes Your Honor. Don't give up, Mia. If he's innocent, there must be some kind of evidence somewhere that will prove it. Oh dear. Okay. Um... A loud noise? And what would you say that loud noise was, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but it was really loud. It was like, snap! You know, come to think of it, I wonder what that was. <laughs> Clearly, Your Honor, it was the sound of the victim being electrocuted. You're not qualified to decide that. What should I do? I'm treading on some dangerous ground here. Mr. Wright, that loud noise you heard may be extremely important, so try to remember what it was. Um, how do I put it? It was like a sharp crack. Uh huh, could it- could it have been? Yes, could it have been? Hurry up and tell us. When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding. Hmm, okay. He fell right on top of it and it broke. That was probably the noise I heard. An umbrella, huh? And did that umbrella belong to the victim? Yeah, it was a plastic umbrella. Cheap and frail, kind of like the owner. Uh, then again, I wish I had any kind of umbrella. I was totally soaked to the bone. Hmm. Wait, umbrella? What? Oh, shoot. It's like all the way over there. Not only that... There are so many things wrong with this. He pushed him from the front, meaning that all of these, like, little animations, Swallow was seen falling on his back. But in the photo, he's on his front, and the umbrella is, like, all the way over there. Phoenix said he fell on top of it. That is weird. What do you think? Is that something important in that testimony just now? Um, well, of course it's important. This is weird. This is weird. This is it, Mia. The new information you've been waiting for. Of course it's important. No, this cheap umbrella is more than important. It's vital. I want to officially have it entered into the testimony. Ha! <laughs> How perfectly fitting. Flimsy information for a flimsy lawyer. The court agrees to the defense's request. Witness, please add the bit about the cheap umbrella to your testimony. He fell down on top of his cheap umbrella. That is weird. Why didn't you testify about the umbrella from the very beginning? Come on, if I had mentioned that... I would have been able to counter the prosecution's arguments earlier. What do you mean by that? Take another look at the crime scene photo. According to Mr. Wright, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. However, if you look closely, the umbrella is nowhere near the victim. Actually, it's by the electrical pole. You're absolutely right! The conclusion here is obvious. After the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. In other words, after he was pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow was still alive. No! Oh my god, I love this theme. Order, order, order! The victim, he moved? 
Mr. Payne, the umbrella in this photo, where is it now? Well, it was collected by the police at the scene and... I want to present it as evidence immediately. But, but the umbrella could have simply been blown there by the wind. He fell on top of it. According to the testimony, the victim fell on top of the umbrella. There's simply no way it could have been blown there by the wind. <laughs> but, but... I know this matter of the umbrella seems relatively trivial, but as long as the smallest doubt remains, I cannot render final judgment. <laughs> no! Heck yeah. However, I still find it hard to believe that a huge hole has been blown in the prosecution's case by the defendant's testimony. Well done, Mia. My hemorrhoids no longer bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Payne, what are you chuckling about? Pardon me, Your Honor. It seems I was expecting too much of a free ride. It was foolish to think that I could establish guilt through the cross-examination alone. I'm afraid I don't follow what you're saying. Let me guess. You have another witness. Exactly. And this witness's testimony will be incontrovertible. Is that how, does, how you said that? I don't know. Well, who is this witness? Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Dahlia Hawthorne? You mean Dolly? I do, Your Honor. The defendant's very own lover is a witness to the whole thing. That's right. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. What? I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, my dear. <laughs> Dang! Bad news? You can be more wrong. Actually, I've been waiting for this. You can't be serious. Mia, what do you mean by that? I think this is a good point for us to stop at. Court will now enter a 20-minute recess. Afterwards, we will listen to the testimony of Miss Dolia Hawthorne. And that's also where... I never mind. I don't end the episode here. I thought it was gonna go into it to be continued. I read, I stand corrected. Let's keep going. April eleventh, eleven fifty-two a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Three. Miss Faye, uh, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I, I, it's all right. At least you told us the truth in the end, Mister Wright. Yeah. So I guess I can start to relax then, huh? Relax, my boy. You can't be serious after hiding such important facts. But. but but the next witness is my dolly, right? She'll save me. I just know she will. Why do you think that? Huh? What do you mean? She she has the love of my life, that's why. The love of your life? Huh. Would you mind telling me more about you and Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? Sure, no problem. Dolly and I, we first met about eight months ago right here in this very courthouse. Actually, I'm studying to be a lawyer on the side, anyway. One day, she and I just bumped into each other in the reading room downstairs. That's why I really think it was fate that brought us together. As soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Oh, here! Take a look at this! She gave this to me the day she we met as the symbol of our love. She had been wearing it around her neck that day, but then... She took it off, but before she gave it to me, she said, I want you to carry this. So she gave it to you as a present, I see. This darling little bottle is filled with memories of my darling little dolly. It certainly is a little bottle, all right. It makes me so happy. I show it to everyone I meet. I want to share my happiness with the whole world. Um, anyway. So after that, you and Miss Hawthorne started dating? Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Please give it back now. What a strange girl, asking for a present back like that. By the way, Mr. Wright, the day you first met Dahlia Hawthorne eight months ago, it wouldn't happen to have been on August 27th, would it? Huh? Y yeah, it was! But how did you- This happened on August 27th, right here in this courthouse. What's this, a newspaper clipping? Let's see, murder in the courthouse. M murder what are you reading there? Let me see that. Oh, I see. Mia, I think I understand what you're trying to say. And I think I understand why you suddenly took such a keen interest in this case. You believe there is some relationship between these two cases, am I correct? 
I hope you don't mind, Mr. Grossberg. I... I need to finish this myself. Ah, yes, but I'm afraid what you have will not be enough, my dear. I'll go and have a look at the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. Th thank you! I want to do whatever I can to be a help of you to- a hel of help to you, Mia. Well, it looks like the recess about is about over. We'd better all get moving. I guess so. That recess sir seemed longer than 20 minutes, though. Ooh. There's the two we continued. <laughs> All right, so I guess this is where we end the episode. Roll the end card. Objection! You haven't hit like and subscribe yet. Hold it! You forgot to ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload. Take that! Click here to watch more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.